In today's Tactical Tuesday episode, let's talk about Deck Building Part 1, Consistency. In the Digimon trading card game, there are many decks that have cards that gleam into the top three, or four cards of your deck. Add one to two cards, and then bottom deck, or in Izzy Izumi's case, return them to the top in the order you've chosen. Deck building has many ways to do it, and this channel aims to build and test decks for the current format. Some decks in older sets I'd look at existing lists from Japan, or browse my favorite content creators to see what they did. This video will break itself into two parts. One, generic searchers, and two, archetype-specific searchers. For generic searchers at the top of this list, I'm going to start with BT4 Izzy Izumi. While not exactly a searcher, this tamer can memory fix you but also glean into the future of your deck. By rearranging the components, you can guarantee your next draw, or if your opponent happened to give you three memory, you can play the Izzy first to reveal what you're going to draw off your rookie Digivolution. Thus, you could potentially find the next level 4 to go into, draw it, and keep going into your chain. But when it comes to generic searching, memory boosts are very effective ways to go. With the amount of tamer destruction, memory boosts can chill in your battle area for a potential 2 memory gain, when they're popped for their delay effect. Which gives them some flexible one-time uses. As always though, be weary of those memory blockers, because if you pop it, nothing happens and you wasted the delay effect. But the main reason why I bring up memory boosts is because they provide a generic search for any Digimon of their respective color. Doesn't matter the level, name, or type. It's any Digimon of that specific color boost. So when you play Red Memory Boost, you can grab any Digimon that is red. Multicolor red? Got it! But while those cards are powerful searchers, when they're checked in security, they do nothing but play themselves into the battle area. Your opponent's Digimon doesn't get deleted, and you don't get a search. While Memory Boost can be useful, archetypal decks have many ways to add cards off of revealed cards to the hand. Several archetypes have searchers out the wazoo, which of meta decks old and new, the present consistent decks I'd have to give it to are Greymon and Garurumon decks. Don't get me wrong, Imperial Dramon has a lot of amazing support, in that you've got Davis Motomiya, a tamer that both memory fixes and triggers its on-play effect for a green and blue card. But for some reason, not many people are playing this deck right now. Granted, there's a lot of decks to try moving forward into this new format. The point is, I wanted to emphasize how well Digimon Searchers can be, in your hand even if it's a handful of rookies. Even in cases where Gaiomon, I've had 5 Agumons in hand. Sometimes, sequencing them in a specific order can be advantageous. This deck specifically has some issues because of the fact that you have black and red Agumons. Specifically, BT8 Agumon does work in finding your Greymon and Dragonkin components. Unfortunately, a standard Greymon deck where you utilize Greymon X, you'll have only 4 copies of Blocker Greymon from BT8, and then 7-8 copies of Red Greymons that cannot Digivolve on top of this Digimon. Luckily, Agumon X helps you fix that issue by being able to Digivolve on top of a Black Agumon. But that being said, Greymon decks have 3 searchers for the deck. BT5 Agumon for Greymon and Omnimon, BT8 Agumon for a Greymon and a Dragonkin trait Digimon, which basically lets you add a Greymon Metal Greymon, with a Black War Greymon, War Greymon, or Gaiomon Digimon. Lastly, Agumon X lets you nab a Greymon or Omnimon Digimon, and the option card, X Antibody. You may be wondering why this deck underperforms in tournaments. Honestly, it's a matter of speed and memory efficiency. In Melga X decks, they may not have a third Digimon right now that can search for a Gururumon Digimon and another Digimon with an attribute. But the thing is, they have more efficient cards for adding to their hands. Davis Motomiya, for example, can add you a blue card off of the top three. Needing promo wear Garurumon? Found it! But BT5 Gabumon does what BT5 Agumon does, adding a Garurumon Digimon instead, and an Omnimon to boot. Gabumon X? Adds the Garurumon or Omnimon, and the X antibody. But the ultimate factor here is draw power. Melga X has one of the most consistent engines in the Digimon trading card game. Promo Gururumon is the MVP of all the cards in its arsenal. This card lets you draw a card whenever a Gururu Digimon attacks. Meaning if Promo where Gururumon is the Digimon on top, you swing, draw a card, re-stand with the where Gururumon's effect, swing again, and draw a second card. 
You literally just played Pot of Greed for nothing. No memory consumption? Nothing! Going into Weirger Room on X for memory of zero results in an unsuspend and another draw. With Gururum on X, the battle protection is insane. In the grand scheme of things, many players have talked about how this deck is too powerful and where Gururumon's a problem. Arguably, I'll say it now in this video, but I personally think Gururumon is the problem. But the point of this video is to discuss the deck building process and utilize cards that can help get to your endgame combo sooner rather than later. Why do you think Alphamon was so consistent in the last format? Sure, you have Dorumons, Cool Boys, and Kota, but still, what's the problem? Imagine if Melga X was restricted on one of its crucial components, the Promo Wear Gururumon or the Promo Gururumon. The likelihood of an OTK is less optimal. Doru Greymon was Alphamon's OTK enabler. Why was Grandis Kuagamon so clunky in the last format? Sure, you had green memory boost, but there was no Kakuamon you could actively digivolve over with Kokuomon X without passing the memory first, since we only had the one Digivolve cost Kokuomon from older sets. In the end, moving forward, EX3 offers additional support for Examon that you could use with the new Searcher Dracomon, but there are other cards that you can utilize for this deck as well. OG Dracomon from the old 4 starter deck can be utilized in Examon, or if you're feeling trolly, a D Brigade deck. What are your favorite engines to use in the Digimon trading card game? What honestly has been your favorite deck? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is Digipanda, logging out.